Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Malik Arjun here. Uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and uh, demonstrate on how as a DBA we can validate our sys password. Most of the time we may forget our sys password and uh, you know it's very hard to validate my sys password and whether it's a correct password. You know, if it's a correct password, how I can validate that one and in case of if I lost my sys password and then what are the various ways to recover that particular password and how I can recreate my password file. So everything I'm going to demonstrate today in this particular or live demonstration. Quickly jump on to my lab, uh, quickly check it out my database details here. Right, so I have a DevDB database which is up and running here. Cat etc or a tab and then I have DevDB which is of 19C. Uh, which is up and running. Just set the environment dot or env devdb. So verify the environment variables env pipeline grep capital or devdb. That's Oracle SID, Oracle base, user on app Oracle, Oracle home, user on app Oracle product 19c db home one. So everything is set here. Connect back to your database, right? Um, yeah, able to connect, which is of 19c database. I think it looks good. So, you know, I know the sys password, I can directly connect to my database. So if I use SQL plus SSDB, it's gonna use the OS authentication. This slash indicates it's a OS authentication. You logged in with the Oracle user and Oracle is the owner for my database. If I do again, PS-EF pipeline grep s -mond, and then DevDB in turn, this is my database. DevDB is a database which is owned by Oracle. Oracle is the owner for my database. And then I already logged into my server Oracle Lab 1 with that Oracle user. So I can simply use SQL plus slash as a SysDBA. So it will connect to your database with the OS authentication. The slash indicates OS authentication using your Sys account. Sys is a master account for your database, right? If I do show user, it connected with the Sys user. And then uh, I did not mention, I just mentioned SQL plus. As SysDB, as SysDB indicates, it's a Sys user we connected, but uh, I connected as a, a you know OS authentication. So if I do SQL plus, right, and then uh, I can just mention Sys as SysDBA, right? I connected with the Sys account, and then password I'll not enter. I'll just give enter here. I'll not enter any password. Show user. Right, so I'm able to connect database. So without password, if you're logged in with that Oracle owner to that database server, you can directly use this OS authentication slash, and you can directly connect to your database uh, without any, uh, you know, sys password. So in case if I want to connect to my database uh, with the sys username and password, just to verify my sys password is working fine. So I can enter sys and then I can enter password Malik. And just to enter Malik as sysdba. So I'm going to connect to my database, SQL plus, connect to my database using sys user and then the sys password as a sysdba. If I use this one, it'll connect to your database, but it, there no guarantee that Malik is a password for that sys, one, sys account. Right, you can see, I'm able to connect to my database and then show uh, user, right? So I connected to my database as a sys user using this password, but this password is wrong. So many people will validate using this command, SQL plus sys followed slash password as a sysdba. So if you use as a sysdba and along with your SQL plus connection with the username and password, again, you're gonna use a OS authentication. It's not gonna use the uh, remote password authentication. So it's gonna use your OS authentication and you're gonna connect even though if you mention the wrong password, You'll just get connect. So if I use Malik one two three now here, right? Again, you are able to connect. Show user. So again, you are able to connect this. And then what's the password now? Malik is a password, or Malik one two three is a password. And then if I use Malik one two three dollar, and I am able to connect here. So Malik one two three is a password. Malik one two three dollar is a password, or Malik one two three is a password or Malik is a password, which is the correct password here. So right way to validate your sys user password is you have to use at the rate your service name, TNS names, devdb. So I'm gonna use SQL plus sys 
followed by password at the rate my service DNS name and as a sysdba. So this is a correct way to validate your sys password, right? So right now I'm gonna change, I'm gonna put the wrong password here, right? I'm gonna use Malik one, two, three. It says username or the password invalid, invalid username and password log on denied. So this is a correct way to validate your sys password. You have to use SQL plus sys followed by your password at the rate your TNS name and then as this DBA. That's gonna validate your accurate username and password because you're going to use this TNS names for connection. That's gonna be your remote connection in order to connect your database remotely. So that use a uh, sys password, sys username and password. It's not gonna use a voice authentication. Right, so now I'm going to use a correct password. So this is my correct password. Sys followed by Malik123 dollar. This is my correct password. And then I should be able to connect to my database. You can see, show user. Show user. I'm able to connect to my database. So you have to use SQL plus Sys uh, followed by a password at the rate your TNS name. So what exactly this TNS name is? So you can go to your TNS admin location. So your user on app Oracle product network admin and then do cat TNS names. And then this is your TNS names, DVDB. And then it is listening under this protocol and running under this source, running under this particular 1522 port and the service name is DVDB. So if I do TNS ping and then I should be able to do a TNS ping zero millisecond. If I try to connect to my database, I should see the same service name as a DVDB, as this DBA. And then show parameter service. And you can see DVDB is a service name inside my dev database. And then that same service name has kept inside my TNS names. So I'm able to connect to my database using sys user and password with the help of these TNS names. So that's what I used here. SQL plus sys username sys password at the rate DVDB as sysdba. So this is the exact correct command to validate your sys password. Uh, it'll be able to connect. If you use a wrong password along with at the rate your TNS names, and then you will not be able to connect to your database. It's not going to use. Uh, it's not going to be. It's not going to use voice authentication because at the rate TNS name will always use your remote connection in order to connect your database remotely. That will always gonna use your username and password. So it says invalid username and password. So if you don't use this at the rate symbol here, you know, if you can use any password, it will ignore that password and it'll use the voice authentication and it will connect. For example, SQL plus sys malik123 dollar is able to connect. SQL plus sys malik123 able to connect to my database. And then SQL plus sys malik able to connect to my database. So that's wrong way to connect to or validate your sys password. So, and then if I do listener, so how, how I am able to do this TNS ping here, the TNS, I'm, if, the, if the moment I do TNS ping DVDB, I'm able to connect to my database here and then I'm, I'm getting a okay response in zero millisecond. How I'm able to do the TNS ping because my listener is up and running and it is listening under that particular service. This is my listener. If I do PS EF grep TNS, so you can see my listener is up and running here, which is running from this Oracle home. And then this is the listener name. If I do LSNRCTL status, and then that listener name, you can see your DevDB, one service with the DevDB, one instance is listening under that. Instance name is DevDB, which is ready in status, right? So that's a quick uh, intro about validating your sys password. And then, uh, uh, you know, this is the simplest way to validate your password. You have to always use your uh, TNS alias, that's uh, your TNS names. And then that entry should be available inside your uh, TNS name dot .ora file. Cat TNS name dot .ora file. So this is your TNS names, which has kept inside your TNS name dot .ora file. And then we're gonna use this password to validate my sys password. So again, one more time, SQL plus sys followed by password. Right, this is the actual password, malik123 dollar at the rate devdb as sysdba. So this is the correct command to validate your sys password, right? Able to connect so that you know, your sys password, whatever you use here is the correct one. If I use a wrong password, I'll just remove that uh, 
dollar symbol at the end and then this is a wrong password malik123 is the wrong password and then it immediately say that invalid username or the password all right guys so that's a quick intro about validating your sys password and uh, you know that's uh, you have to use your tns names your tns alias along with your listeners in order to validate your sys password uh, and then again remember guys sql plus slash as sys password at the rate dvdb if we use that at the rate tns names it will always going to connect your database with the remote connection all right guys thank you